All right, so welcome to welcome to Crafter Noon. Um, this is a monthly program we run for teens where we do crafts and artwork together. This month we're going to be working on making our own bird feeders out of popsicle sticks. We'll be using a take and make kit that the library had available this month, but you can do it on your own with popsicle sticks and glue at home. All right, so this is what it'll look like when it's done. But to get started, you're gonna want 50 popsicle sticks total, but just to start, you're gonna need 12. I've arranged them all in a line like this. I'm gonna use some extra popsicle sticks to make sure my line is straight. And then we're going to arrange two popsicle sticks across to support this. This is gonna be the base of the bird feeder. And I've got a glue stick. A glue stick does work, but it takes a little bit of extra time and pressure. So just be aware of that. You can, if you've got glue at home, you can use that. If you have a, a glue stick, Elmer's glue, crazy glue, you have a parent that wants to help you with a glue gun, any of that works. Just if you use something like a glue stick that's not quite as strong, it just needs a little extra time and pressure to bond before you can move it. So we're gonna line that up. And the popsicle sticks are sticking to my fingers a little bit, but I'm kind of just push them back into place. I'm gonna hold that for a few seconds, make sure it's really stuck on there. You can see one of mine on the end didn't stick, so I'm just gonna put some glue, rather than pry the whole thing up, I'm gonna put some glue where I want it to stick and put it back under there and press down. Okay, and we're gonna repeat it on this side. I'm gonna make sure to get some more glues on, glue on the ends, since that first one didn't wanna stick. Okay. And so once you've got, mine's not perfectly straight, but once you've got those kind of lined up and you feel like they're sticking okay, it's not gonna completely fall apart, go ahead and just very carefully turn it over. So that'll be the bottom of your bird feeder. You can also, if you've got some spare um, popsicle sticks or if you don't make the walls go up quite as far, you can take some extra popsicle sticks and line them up on the bottom next to those first ones to make it a little bit stronger, that's up to you. So once you've got the floor of your bird feeder here, we're going to start making our walls. So I'm gonna line these ones up on the very outside before we have them kind of towards the middle. We're gonna line these up here and glue them down. So same process as before, really coat it in glue. Sorry, I'm making my camera shake a little bit. Line that up on one side, hold it till you feel like it's sticking. and then do the same on the other side. And hold it. And then this is gonna be a process we just repeat all the way up to get the walls tall. You're gonna just alternate. You're gonna do two popsicle sticks this way and then you're gonna put two popsicle sticks on top the other way. And then you're gonna put two more on top of that and two more on top of that until your walls are a decent height and you've used up your 50 popsicle sticks. So for these, we just want some glue on the ends, not all the way across. And 
There's one side. And the other. And real quick at this step, I said that you were gonna just alternate walls, but on this first layer, when you've got four walls built up, you're also going to add this jumbo popsicle stick or tongue depressor, that's another name for it. And this is gonna be kind of like a little rest. It's gonna sit like that for the birds to stand on. So you kind of wanna line up where it's gonna go, make sure your glue stick's going where it's gonna attach. Do that again. So you're gonna stick that down. And then you'll keep going with your regular size popsicle stick. So the next one will go over the top of the tongue depressor on both sides, and then you'll do the other sides. And you keep going that way until you have these tall walls. You can see the tongue depressors coming out from that bottom layer. It's got the reinforced bottom. And once you get to this step, you'll take the string that was in your kit. You have some sturdier string if you got a kit from the library. I just have yarn. Sturdier is probably better if you want it to hold up, but either works. So we're going to, I'm trying to remember which way this needs to be threaded. I'm going to thread it going from the inside to the outside. So you see how there's layers in between. I'm just gonna lay, um, thread this through the top two popsicle sticks right in here. And yarn's kind of squishy and doesn't like to poke through, but I think I can get it. All right, so that's pulled through. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that until I've got most of my yarn pulled through the gap and just a little bit left over. I'm gonna wrap it around the bottom. This will kind of help it be more stable too. This is gonna hold up your bird feeder when birds try to land on it. And you want both ends to kind of, my camera's not far enough away for you to see, but you want them to be kind of the same length on either side. And I'm going to poke it through the top two layers on this side. Like that. I'm gonna pull them until I've got the two ends kind of even and then tie a knot at the end so that we can hang it on a tree branch. And you'll take your other string and do the same on the other side so that it's supported on both sides. So I'm gonna poke it through the top two layers. My hands are covered in glue stick glue, so it would rather stick to my fingers than go through. Kind of poke it through with a pencil. Here we go. Do the same thing, pull it most of the way through, wrap it around the bottom just like before. Now it's being kind of tangled with the first string. And kind of tug on both sides to make sure you've got roughly the same amount of yarn coming off both ends. I'll pull mine a little bit more so I've got more on that side. And then poke it through the top two layers from the outside in. I'm going to poke it through with a pencil or a spare popsicle stick, whatever you've got. There we go. So it moved around a little. I'm going to pull it back over so it's kind of lined up on those supports. 
pull it through. And I'm gonna pull both ends. Make sure they're the same length. Can't tie a knot. And now I've got a bird feeder I can hang in my backyard. Those are the, again, I can't get it all on camera. Those are the strings and you just hang it like that. And we also want to let you know, so when we originally planned this craft, we did not realize that there is currently a salmonella outbreak among local birds. And so you don't actually want to put these feeders out right now, because if you attract a bunch of birds to your yard, they might make each other sick by all being next to each other eating. So make your kit, um, keep it, hang on to it, and check the Audubon Society website. They'll update you when um, they'll post there when it's safe to put out things like bird feeders again. And they project that when the weather warms up that this outbreak will go away and it'll be fine. So check back there for when you can put this out and then you can hang it out in your yard by a window on a tree and watch the birds come eat. Thanks, and I hope to see more of you at our next afternoon program in April.